we've got ten brand new contestants, all keen as mustard to get into the hot seat. They are Andrew Harkins from Northumberland, <laughs> Carolyn Ferrari from Buckinghamshire, <laughs> Lee France from Isle of Man, <laughs> Dave Gore from Warwickshire, <laughs> Andy Cullen from Somerset, <laughs> Bill Louis from Middlesex, <laughs> Mark Humphreys from Kent. Brenda Sweeting from Teesside. Jan Williams from Powys. And John Smith from the West Midlands. It's time to play fastest finger first. Now remember, four answers, only one correct order. Get the order right in the fastest time, and you'll be next tonight to play for a possible £1 million. Pounds. Here comes the first question. Starting with the smallest, put these countries in order of area. India, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Pakistan. <laughs> Two or three of them there finished breathtakingly quick, but uh, let's see if they're right. This is the right order, starting with the smallest, don't forget. Uh, smallest fairly obviously probably is Sri Lanka. Um, then it's Bangladesh. Then it's Pakistan, and then fairly obviously the largest one by miles is India. So that's the right order. Now, ten start. How many got it right out of ten? Uh, about half of them. Who was fastest? Andy Collin in 5.54 seconds. Andy! <laughs> So uh, here we have Andy Collin. He's just 24. He's a yogurt machine operator from Bridgewater in Somerset. Thank you. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> this is question number one. It's for 100 pounds. Here it is. Which part of a ship shares its name with a collection of playing cards? Sail. Anchor. Deck. Funnel. Could it be deck? It could be deck. It's the right answer. You've got £100. <laughs> See, I'll bet your boss is going, ah, no, he's got one wrong way. <laughs> OK, you've got £100. Question number two for 200 Here it comes. Jeremy Clarkson is a TV expert in which field? Cookery. Motoring. Interior design. Gardening. It's motoring. Right answer, £200. <laughs> Question number three is worth 300 quid. Here it is. By what name was the comedian William Claude Dukenfield better known? W.C. Pastures, W.C. Lawns, W.C. Meadows, W.C. Fields. W.C. Fields. It's right out, you've got 300 pounds. <laughs> £500 is question number four. Which word refers to land which is suitable for growing crops? Arable. Parable. Risible. Visible. Arable. £500. <laughs> right, Andy, let's guarantee you £1,000. You've got all three lifelines if you need them. You probably won't. There are no trick questions on Millionaire. This is question number five. What is removed from peas when they are shelled? Skin. Pod. Peel. Pith. It's B pod. It's the right answer. You've got a £1,000. What up? Guaranteed a Nigel's probably fuming now. Oh, Nigel, yeah. yeah. That guarantees Nigel a really, really awful Monday morning. OK, you've got a £1,000 guarantee. <laughs> Um, question number six for 2,000. You've got all three lifelines. Have a look. The square mile is an informal name for which of these places? Manhattan, City of London, Kremlin, Vatican City. Take your time, have a good look at it. The square mile is an informal name for which of these places? Manhattan, City of London. Kremlin, Vatican City. I've 
got a feeling, but I think I'm going to ask the audience. OK, audience, uh, let's make sure we get Andy up to £2,000. Here it comes on your keypad, please. Right, this is the question. The square mile is an informal name for which of these places? A, B, C or D. All vote now. That's quite a big old gap. 73%, say, City mm. of London. Was that your inkling, truthfully? No, it wasn't. <laughs> well, they might be wrong. Yeah, I was inkling at Manhattan. Still might be. 12% saying that. 73 say, mm. City of London. Four say Kremlin, 11% uh, Vatican City. It's quite a big gap, but it's your call. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll use my 50 50. It's up to you. You want to? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay. Uh, can you really take away two wrong answers? Leave Andy the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. Well, Manhattan doesn't look too promising it now. It doesn't, no. I'll go with the audience. City of London. Thought you might. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got £2,000. <laughs> OK, you, listen, you've got £2,000. You've still got one lifeline there. Mm -hmm. You're four away from £32,000. Uh, you've still got a phone a friend. Have a look at yeah. number seven. It's worth £4,000. Obviously, you don't have to play it, but it's worth £4,000. The E Street Band is best known for its collaborations with which singer? Prince, Bruce Springsteen, Michael Jackson, Michael Bolton. I think that it's Prince, but it's either Prince or Bruce Springsteen. When the question came up, Prince was the one that came into my mind straight away. But then I seen Bruce Springsteen and that. Last time the one that came into your mind first was Manhattan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's your call. Uh, it's worth 4,000. I'll phone Mike. Mike? Mike. OK, who's he? Mike Curve, friend of mine. OK, phone him, tell him the question. Uh, four possible answers. Uh, Andy, you don't have to take his answer. You can still walk away with a couple of thousand. Hello? Mike? Yeah? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Hello, Chris. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I've got Andy. We're on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, by the way, in case you're puzzled. I'm just ringing you out of the blue. Okay. Uh, I've got Andy here. He's doing OK, but he's stuck on a couple of thousand pounds. OK. Now, Mike, with your help, we can get him up to 4,000. Yep. All right, next voice here will be Andy's. He'll tell you the question. There are still four possible answers. He'll have 30 seconds. All right, mate, fingers crossed. OK. Andy, your time starts now. Mike, the E Street Band is best known for its collaborations with which singer? Is it Prince, Bruce Springsteen, Michael Jackson or Michael Bolton? Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen, you sure? The E Street Band. E Street Band. Yep, definitely. 100%? Yep. Cheers, mate. OK, cheers, Andy. Good Thanks luck. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Go with Mike. Not Prince now, then? Not Prince now. You sounded very positive, 100%. Yeah. It's, it's up to you. Final yeah. answer? Final answer, Bruce Springsteen. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> you've got £4,000, Andy. Uh, you've used up all three lifelines, but that's what they're for, to get you this far. Have a look at number eight. You could double your money. What type of barn traditionally has a curved roof and no walls? German barn, Dutch barn, French barn, Spanish barn. I think it's Dutch barn. Because I've heard of a Dutch barn and I've never heard of a German barn or a French barn or a, du or a Spanish barn. It's your call. You got four thousand pounds. I'll play it. Dutch barn. Final answer. Final answer. Imagine the, your boss, though, if you lose three thousand pounds. Yeah, but I've got something at least. He's got a thousand. You've actually just got eight thousand pounds. The right answer. Uh, 
£8,000 you've got, right? Cash, you can walk away. Number nine is for 16000 You have no lifelines left. You obviously don't have to play this question. If you give me a wrong answer, you drop £7,000. If you give me a right answer, it's worth 16000 Have a look at it. Take as long as you need. Question number nine. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. Is a quote from which novel? Jane Eyre, Taylor Two Cities, Mill on the Floss, Jude the Obscure. Ah. Uh. You've got eight thousand pounds. Mm. It's between Taylor Two Cities and Mill on the Floss. Why? I don't know, really. I remember reading, um, seeing the quote quite recently, and one of those two being associated with it. And the stronger one would be Mill on the Floss. But whether it's strong enough... It's up to you. Take your time. You've got £8,000. You can walk away. You lose seven if you're wrong. It's worth 16000 It's a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. A quote from which novel? Jane Eyre, A Tale of Two Cities, The Mill on the Floss, Jude the Obscure. Mm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I ought to play for it, because I'm not going to get the chance again. But I don't particularly want to lose seven thousand pounds. It's a big drop. I want to say Milan Floss final answer, but there's a big part of me saying no. It's knowing which part of me to trust. One of those is worth sixteen thousand pounds. Yeah. Three of them will cost you seven thousand. I'd really like to know what my brother's thinking right now. <laughs> Although knowing him, probably not. He's got a sort of glaze on his face. He always has. <laughs> £8,000 is a lot of money. It is a lot. If you lose seven, it's a lot. Mm. for Mill on the Floss, but I think I will take the money. Final answer. Final answer, take the money. OK, give him a big hand. He goes away with £8,000. <laughs> I tell you now, Andy, at that moment, there were people all over the British House screaming, do not say Mill on the Floss, do not say Mill on the Floss. The right answer actually was a tale of two cities. Did you do the right thing? I he goes know. away with a guaranteed eight round. We'll play, but... Well done. Good man. Enjoy it. Cheers, bye-bye.